Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. As the new COVID pandemic rages on and nobody else dies, and it's all just this mass hysteria, now they're going after your kids. Now they're saying there's more pediatrics that are showing Omicron, but nobody's dying. It's just a cold. Kids get sick all the time. But two pandemics have popped their head out, and one has been, a, you know, I've noticed for years before the pandemic, but two. 70% of Americans are overweight. Now, we'll get into what means overweight in a second. What, what does that definition of that mean? Uh, and the second pandemic is people are talking about the revolution. I like to talk about the revolution. I think it's funny. I think people that are talking about the revolution, you know, um, have, some, have some good backing. But at the same time, my question is, is how are we going to get all the motorized carts to the revolution. Are we going to build ramps to get the people that are overweight in the wheelchairs to, to be like a blockade against the Antifa or the colored haired kids that don't want to work? I mean, how, how's this going to work out? Do we even expect the overweight mouth breathers to show up? They're not even showing up to their jobs and they're not even showing up to go get their groceries or food now. They're having McDonald's delivered by Grubhub. Okay, so the 70% of Americans that are overweight, here's what it means by going overweight. This is what they get, which I completely agree is wrong. The body mass index. Body mass index is basically your height, your weight, and they multiply, blah, blah, blah. They do these little calipers and all this crap, which is never really, but it is, okay? Here's what you can do. You can take this little thing, this little monitor, it gives your body weight, it gives you a roundabout number. I always tell that's not exact, but it's a roundabout number. Um, of course, women are going to have more than men. That's the way you're designed. Um, let's not get into uh, uh, science on that because I don't want to bring in Fauci. But 70% overweight. Now, I want you to look at your Christmas and go look at those pictures. That means 7 out of 10 are overweight. Now, I'm considered overweight because I'm 250 pounds and I'm six foot. So I'm about 45 pounds over the weight I should be. But my weight is in a different portion of other weights. So, which affects my insurance? I, there's people that, and my body's clean. My, I have no club, like everything's great. They're like, you're one of the healthiest dudes we've ever seen. No cholesterol, no blah, blah, blah. And my insurance costs me higher because of my weight. And I'm in shape. I'm going to live as far as I allow myself, I guess. But that's it, the, how are we going to get this solved? Like, the first thing I can think of is it's not people's fault. It's what you've been eating your whole entire lives. And you're like, what do I eat, Mike? What, oh, how do I change it? What do I do? Okay, let's, I'm being nice about this. I'm not going to be like Professor Turgeson of Contemporary American History from the movie Back to School where Jim Kennison goes off on people. I love that. That's what made me listen to this morning. That's why I'm doing it this morning is this. Okay, what can you do? Not eat McDonald's every day. 35% of Americans eat fast food every day. Three and a half people out of 10, eat fast food as their meals every day. 40% of the county I live in is obese. That's ridiculous. Nobody cares. And the biggest thing that helps COVID is working out and having a better immune system and doing things. But we haven't started even talking about it. We're not, no one even cares. And I know that I'm wasting my breath because you're not gonna change. You like being fat out of breath and get into the kitchen and going, <sighs> I hate you. What makes me feel like I'm better than the fatties is because I try. Okay. I try. You don't, you have some excuse. You have some excuse. Well, my thyroid, but can you, that doesn't mean you can't raise your arms. You know, that it's like, Anyway, I'm not going to go off on something else. Let's talk about the food. Okay, let's not eat fast food. Let's start right there. Limit yourself. Make it a treat. One meal. One sandwich. 
a week. Hey, I, I, I made it to Friday. I know Friday the kids have got a game and we're going to have to do this. I ain't going to have time. So I'm going to eat bad then. But the rest of the week, I'm going to eat good. Well, Mike, what do I eat good? It's so hard to eat. There's so much to do. And so I'm, well, I've got that channel, Eat Clean Fit. You can, There's stuff on YouTube where you, it's just easy stuff, but you're not taking the time and the effort to even show your children that you're caring about them and what they're eating and how you're setting up their lives. It's okay your parents screwed up for you because they didn't know. We didn't know that all this processed food was not good for us. We didn't know that the fish fillets were not fish fillets, that the chicken nuggets weren't chicken. We didn't know, okay? So since we didn't know, we now are aware. And 70% of you are overweight. That's ridiculous. You should feel ashamed for yourself, just how you feel in front of your kids. Like, what kind of example? And you're like, well, Mike, I work out every now and then. Consistently? Consistently? Do you stay on top of it? Do you get off? I mean, you have to be consistent in this to be a healthy person, to not be overweight, or eat better and stay consistent with that. Consistency is the key, but the things you can eat is not fried foods, not ranch, not mayonnaise, not ketchup. And you're like, well, my ketchup ain't bad for you. Yeah, it is. It's sugar water. It's sugar water. I hate people that think ketchup's good. It's not. You can eat mustard. That's better for you if you want to eat something on a topping. Try. Well, I don't like those things. And I don't, well, then you don't like being fat either. You got to change. You got to find what you like. I eat maybe one thing, five meals in a row. Oh, well, I'm not eating for pleasure. Not everything has to be about the pleasure of, oh, I love this meal. Not every meal is going to be. When I eat a good meal, it's appreciated because I earned that good meal. I made sure, and that's the thing. I don't go to fast food for my good meals. I go for high-end meals. The quality of the meat, the quality of the vegetables, everything. How things are cooked. That's how you get better. That's how you get better. You start with your diet. And you start simple. Well, I, I don't like to eat in the morning. That's fine. A lot of people fast. That's perfect. If you don't like to eat in the morning, eat in the afternoon. Make that your time. You can eat from noon to a certain time, whatever your fasting eight hours is. That's plenty of time for lunch and dinner. You know, if that works for you, find what works for you. Play with it. It's not going to happen overnight. One week, if you don't lose a pound in one week, it's okay. You know what? You gained a lot of weight. It takes a lot of time to take that off. Stay at it. Stay consistent. It's embarrassing. It really is. It. To see other people that I have, that I, yeah, I won't go into the place that I live in, but, you know, it's it's very obese here, and it's gross, and people laugh, or people get mad at me because of how I act, or what I say about it, but, hey, it's my own personal protest against your fat asses, because it's gross, and I don't want my kid to see that. I don't want my kid to grow up in a community of people that wear t-shirts at the pool because they're scared of their bodies. Hey, if you're going to be that way, own it. Let's see it. <laughs> you know? But anyway, uh, it's kind of just one of those things where that that's, nobody's doing anything for themselves during this COVID pandemic where we're all getting this instant fix, we're getting this fucking shake weight to take care of this pandemic. When all you have to do is actually work out and make your body healthier, and that helps it tremendously. Take vitamin D, get injections. I won't get into that because I'm not going to self-sell my clinic. But it, it's you can do things on your own. The people that say... That, oh, I'm so sick of this. I don't, I want to be different. I want to be different. You know, that's like me saying I want to go snow skiing and be the best snow skier in the world, but never researching and looking how to do it. Well, how do I do it? YouTube's there. You have the resources. So there's no excuses. There's no excuses for 70% of America to be overweight. 
we should be disgusted with ourselves and we should start putting and implementing in our programs that people start moving their fat asses. Okay? Because look, look who your representatives are. Who do your kids see every day? Teachers and police officers. I really don't know who the rest of the people see besides your parents and besides your family. And according to this, 70% of them are overweight. So 7 out of 10 that your kids see are overweight, and that makes it okay for it to be over. You're okay. Everybody's okay with it. Don't shame anybody. Don't, don't, don't feel guilty that you're mouth breathing because you walk 10 steps. All right. Said enough of that. But going, you know, with the teachers and the police officers, I feel bad for you guys. Nurses, same thing. You know, all you guys have no options where you're eating, where you're at. You you're constantly going. You eat quickly. Um, or you just, you know, panic eat or whatever you, you know, emotionally, excuse me. You know, and it's it's amazing to me to see these people that are that spend so much time in college to get a degree to get paid forty thousand dollars a year for that to just be cap off. You're done. You know, you become these overweight globs and then teach children. And if every day I showed up in spandex, that would be okay. I'd be all bulging out everywhere around your children and you would have to accept that. Well, you have to also accept these giant, hideous, mouth-breathing people every day talking to your children. Maybe that's a little bit over. Maybe it's a little bit too much. But it says 7 out of 10 of you are. You know, and I'm sorry if I'm talking about one of you. And if that makes you feel bad, I do apologize. It should make you feel bad. Because if I was overweight and I had issues and I had health issues and I was worried about COVID and all these other things, I might get my fat ass on a fucking treadmill and do something or change my diet and not go, ha ha ha, ranch is good on my fries again. I mean, limit yourself. Jesus, have some, like, control. But, you know... People are not educated, you know. The the police officers don't have the training to protect you. They don't want to protect you, you know. But they're your neighbors. So when the revolution starts, you gotta think, you know. Hey, these police officers, which side are they gonna take? You know, that's my that's one of my concerns about this revolution of not going against fat people. What are we revolting on? We're revolting on the left and the right and everything else. We're divided as a people. That's that's clear. That's been the way it is. And it doesn't take much to divide us. It could be any issue. But the one consistent issue is we are all overweight and we're teaching our children that it's okay. We're all becoming fat, slow bodies that nobody even says anything about because it's offensive. Well... If you're offended, I really don't give a shit. You know, it's really not hard to be beautiful in a pool of turds. You know, a little bit of effort yeah. <laughs> it makes you be, <laughs> it's not that hard to be good looking. It's not that hard to lose weight and people to notice. No, why? Because nobody else is doing it. I guarantee right now, if you lost five pounds, people would notice. No, why? Because nobody else is doing it. Nobody else is losing it. Oh, my God, Kathy, you lost five pounds. Look at you. You must be doing some. I wish I could do that. You must be so dedicated. Blah, blah. There goes your self-esteem while you're doing it. So why do you think I feel so good about my fucking self all the time? Jesus, I'm awesome. No, why? Because you guys suck so bad. I'm like, Jesus, my life is fucking awesome compared to you guys. So thank you. Thank you for making me feel better every day. Thank you for you for prepping me. I do have a chew in this morning. I didn't feel like taking it out. I was getting my Pedialyte and my coffee and my pre-workout. I'm getting ready to do my workout here before my son wakes up. I'm going to cook him some good breakfast. Uh, we got strawberries, waffles, and a little bit of avocado for the good fat in the morning. That's what he's going to be eating. That's also what I'm going to be eating, minus the waffles, because I don't want those. Um, 
No, I, I, I just kind of this morning was inspired by the uh, statistic of the 70% of Americans being overweight. And then I was going to bring this up to about Craighead County. There's 102, yep, almost 103,000 people in the county I live in. Listen to these statistics. This is this is Craighead County, total population almost 103,000. The obesity. I just had it. No, oh, Lord. Okay, 30%. No, I, I hate, this is why I don't like obesity. There it is. Adults aged 18 above BMI, 30% or more. 30,000 of the people of 103,000, 30,352 have a body fat percentage of 30% or more. 20,000 have no leisure physical activity. And 28,000 have a BMI above 25. So half your community is above 25% body mass index in this county. Half the population. You got to think, what's the other half population? It's not the other half population is working out so great. It's just they're skinny, smaller people. Well, like I said, it has no bearing on me. It makes me feel amazing. It makes me feel amazing that you guys look awful and I look better every day. I'm going to go work out and feel wonderful today. And you're going to be pissed off about your life. You're going to mouth breathe. You're going to be mad at your kids. You're going to be mad at your life. You're going to be, you wish all these things and not make them happen because you're going to say, I don't know how when you have the tool in your hand to tell you how everything you need to do. And I put videos of me doing the workouts and stuff I do and cooking food. Other people do these things. You have the resources. It's up to you if you want to be healthier. It's up to you. Nobody's going to come to you and start making it for you. Kim Kardashian's cook and trainer and all these people that do it for them and their lipo people are not going to come, come move your fat ass for you. You're going to have to do some research. You're going to do some things. Or do you want to be like, we have an opportunity to be way better than our parents were when they were 40 and 50. Way more than your grandparents were. Think about that. When your grandparents were 40 and 50, they were, most of them were obese, having problems, almost dead. And that's, that's what you're going to carry on. That's the lessons you're going to teach. Just the representative, if if I was to represent myself in a certain way every day, you're going to believe it. Well, you represent that, that certain self every day in front of your children and give different, they'll give no options. There's no other base. You don't see mommy working out everything. What are you doing, mommy? I'm just making sure that mommy stays in shape. I love you because I'm doing it for you so I can stay in shape. Even though it's mommy wants cellulite off her ass. <sighs> anyway. Enough of me fat shaming on you. I'm going to go work out. Hope you all have a good day.